So here's what you're going to do if you're at home and you're conditioning, if you do gymnastics, of course. So first things first, you need to stretch yourself so you don't pull anything. So you mainly need to do pike, make sure to point your toes, try to get your angles off the ground. You need to do your left leg split and your right leg split and middle. And then you also need to do your bridge up and stretch your wrists and your ankles because those because your wrists are very sensitive and your um back because you're going to use your back in this so first things first to get you warmed up you're going to need to be doing some hollow rocks hollow rock is where you are flat on the ground like this you're flat your back is flat on the ground where you can't stick your hands under your back it's flat you fix your back like that and then your legs are six, six inches off the ground and your arms are by your ears and then you bring your arms up your feet up and then you're up back and forth you do that 25 times back and forth is one that's gonna get you warmed up to get your core tight do you mainly use your core muscles for that? You need to squeeze your ears and you need to keep your legs together and your toes pointed. That's the main thing that you need to do for hollow rocks. That's um, to warm up. Next, you probably need to do same thing basically as hollow rocks, but you're not rocking. You're same thing, same position like this, but you go up and down with your legs like this. I'll do it this way. So you're like this, you're in your position, you go up and down. Do 25 of those. And you do the same thing with your arms. And when you're doing your arms, you keep your feet six inches off the ground. Don't move them. And when you're doing your legs, keep your arms squeezed against your ears up six inches off the ground. Make sure your back is flat on the ground or else you're doing it wrong and um you do the arms do those 15 times and then do the legs 15 times next thing you're gonna do is push-ups so the regular push-up is your arms are even with your shoulders and you you have your arms and then you have your feet are together not and then your butt is not up. Your butt, your butt's not supposed to be like this. Your butt's supposed to be flat and your butt is tight and so is your core. And then you're gonna use your shoulders and you're gonna push up. Your nose should touch the ground and you're going to um, do 25 of those. And then if you want a harder challenge, you do the same thing, no butt up, core tight, it's butt tight but your arms are in the same place, but your arms go to your side. That's to get your arms back towards you a little bit more. And then I would, you take your arms beside you and come back up. Make sure to always keep your core tight and your nose should touch the ground. If you're doing those, I would do 15 of those. Next year, what you're gonna do is you're going to do V-ups. V-up is you use mainly your core these are these are um a main ab workout so you mainly use your abs for these your arms are going to be by your ears lying flat make sure your back is flat on the ground your feet are on the ground and then you're going to make your arms and legs they're going to go up and they're going to touch and then you're going to come back down and you do 50 of those when you do it you're mainly using your core muscles, which these help you go up and you need to keep your legs tight together and your toes are pointed. So you're like this, you're flat, your arms are squeezing your ears and you go up and back down. So you do that 25, 50 times. Then if you want, um, and then next you do straddle v-ups which is basically the same thing but your legs straddle like this yeah and so you're flat just like usual and then 
you go up, make sure your arms are squeezing your ears, using your core muscles, your arms, they go up, and your legs straddle, and your, so, same thing, if you're going to straddle your legs, your, your legs are tight, your toes are pointed, and you're going to mainly use your core muscle, which is, I've been saying that a lot, but that is the main concept, that's, this is what they do. Next, what you're going to do is uh, mountain climbers. Mountain climbers are where you are in a push-up push -up position, but your legs, they go up to your chest. So it's, that's one. So one, two. That's regular mountain climbers. The next mount, you're gonna do 25 of those. The next mountain climbers you're gonna do are the side mountain climbers. The side mountain climbers are where you're in a push-up push up position and your legs go out to the side by your shoulder. So you're gonna go, that's one. You're gonna do 25 of those. You're gonna mainly use your core muscles to make sure your arms are uh, lined up with your shoulders and your butt is not up. Make sure it is flat like this, not like that. You're gonna go like this. Next, what you're gonna do is you're going to do, you're going to shut your wrist if you need, and then you're gonna do, you're gonna lay flat on your back. Oh, let me go like this way. And you're gonna go one, and then you're gonna roll. But make sure when you roll, you keep your your legs up and your arms up. So you're gonna go like this. I'll see if I can do this. So you're gonna go, uh, oh, hold on, let me redo that. You're gonna go up, don't go down. You're gonna roll, and then you're gonna go like that. Make sure to keep your legs together, your toes pointing, and your knees tight. Um, make sure to also keep your arms by your ears. So always squeeze your ears. You don't want to see, so, see your ears. Whenever, and next, you, you do 15 of those. Next, you're going to lay on your stomach. You're going to have your arms by your ears. Your feet are going to be up. Scoot over. Your feet are going to be up and your arms are going to be up. And then you move your arms and legs. Make sure your legs are six inches off the ground. So are your arms. You need to keep your stomach, your core on the ground and um, squeeze your ears. You need to do those 25 times and then you need to do these but you need to only do your arms do those 25 times do the same thing with your legs this is going to be your legs i still have my shoulders and my head and my arms squeezed by my ears up when i'm doing that and then when i'm doing my arms my legs are still up and tight next what you're going to do is you're going to sit in a straddle. Make sure your toes are pointed. I'm not going to do it very big so y'all can see. And your toes are pointed. Your arms, you're going to go past your knees. Like, past your knees, like right there, barely. Like, barely past your knees. You're going to straddle. And you're going to try to make it bigger as straddle as you can. Um... You're gonna put your arms, and then you're gonna try to keep your back up. Don't lean over, don't lean this way. Sit right here. You're gonna straighten your leg, point your toe, and you're gonna lift it up. That's one, that's two. Those are your hip flexors. These make sure your hips, I mean your thighs strong. You have to use your thighs for this. You do both legs. Don't, don't go, that's bad. You go only use your thighs 
Then you're gonna do 25 on each leg and then you're gonna put your arms past your knees and you're gonna do both legs at the same time. You're gonna go, you're gonna do 25 of those. Those mainly use your hip flexors to make your thighs um, much stronger so you can use them to do all your other skills in gymnastics. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to do push-ups again, but these are different push-ups. You are in the push-up position, but your arms are spread it out more. They're like this. You go down and up. Your arms are very spread out so you can get more so you can so it's easier to I and mean, harder to push up so this will give you more of a workout. This is mainly for your core. Um it works most of your core muscles you mainly and then the main other thing you have to use is your um muscles above your forearm and your elbow. You have to use your shoulders and make sure to keep your legs, everything tight. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to, well, I don't think there's anything else, but that is it. That is all you're going to do for your I don't know, conditioning if you have time. Um, make sure to always keep your legs together, your feet pointed, and your legs tight. Make sure to always squeeze your ears if you need to. Make sure to keep your arms tight. And um, yeah, that's it. So I hope this helps you.